Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day for to Digital World 2019. Pedro Sininchi, thank you so much for the host, very kind of you. And we are now going to be exploring um, Eevee and Snorlax Tag Team GX. Of course this deck only has one copy of Eevee and Snorlax Tag Team, so it's not a deck based on it. But it is here in order to um, hopefully help out in... Um, <clears throat> in like how can I say it it'll help out in uh, making Malamar or giving Malamar the potential jump it needs in order to uh, become a tier 1 a really well established tier 1 deck no Dunwings indeed this deck is focused more on using DCE attackers such as Evian Snorlax GX <clears throat> 270 HP attack team of course and with the attacks cheer up where you attach um, an energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon then we have the dump truck press dealing 120 damage for four colorless energy and if your opponent's active Pokemon is an evolution Pokemon this attack does 120 more damage so this helps us in hitting really high numbers um, coincidentally uh, Necrozma GX deals this, like, it also deals a 1 kill for 4 energy. It actually deals more damage, 100, 250, uh, rather than 240 for 4 energy. But it is a much more frail Pokemon, so... And it loses the energy. It can't attack back-to-back, -back, so... We'll see how Dump Truck Press ends up, or if Dump Truck Press ends up being good or not. And then we have Megadon Friends GX, which for 4 energies deals a, a 210 damage, a very nice number as well. And if this Pokemon has at least one extra energy attached to it, in addition to this attack cost, then you draw cards until you have 10 cards in your hand, and then you draw your prizes, uh, which will always be at least one, probably two. So you'll end up with either 11 or up to 13 cards in your hand after you use Megaton Friends GX. And Lycanroc like GX says, hello, just because a card is weak to another one doesn't mean it's not playable. Next we have Onyx for an attacker. We have the Land Crush attack dealing 120 damage for the same four colorless energy, but it being fighting type means it's a non-GX attacker that can take down Zorg. Coincidentally, one of Malamar's worst matchups. Next up we have Giratina. 130 HP and the ability distortion door allows you to bring back your Atina from the discard pile to your bench and then you put one damage counter on two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. That's a really nice ability because it ends up um, getting that little bit of extra damage that you might need to score one KOs with Snorlax or Necrozma GX. Necrozma GX has the Prismatic Burst ability which um, deals 10 damage plus 60 more for each psychic energy you discard from this Pokemon. Um, the ability lights and might end up being relevant now because um, Snorlax and Eevee cannot attack Necrozma GX, so there might be situations where the ability actually comes into play. And then Black Ray GX deals 110, 100 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon GX and Pokemon EX in play. Not the most useful GX attack, could end up being useful at some point, but probably not too many situations and then we have of course the 4-4 Malamar line with psychic recharge we get to recharge a psychic energy card from our discard pile to one of our benched pokemon and we have the new jirachi with the ability stellar wish once jirachi is that is well if jirachi is your active pokemon you may look at the top five cards from your deck reveal a trainer card you find there and then you put it into your hand and then you shuffle the other cards back into your deck and this pokemon is now asleep Coincidentally though, um, we are running skateboards which when attached to a sleeping or paralyzed Pokemon they can still retreat even though they are affected by status condition so the combo is really nice and Jirachi is a nice way to help you accelerate your deck. Now we have the Modern Marshadow and one Lele for draw support as well and supporters wise we have for Lily, because it's the first turn one supporter we have, we have Triple Cynthia and we have two of the new Erika's Hospitality. You can play this card only if you have four or fewer other cards in your hand. <coughs> so if you, have, if you have five cards in your hand, including Erika's, you can play it. If you have six, including Erika's, you cannot play it. And then you draw a card for each of your opponent's Pokemon in play. So I'm really, look, I'm really looking forward to playing Erika's Hospitality because Steven's advice used to be a really good supporter, was a 4-off pretty much in most decks, 
and um, it brings back the nostalgia. <clears throat> Next up, so portraits wise, uh, well, we also have for Kuzma. Then items wise, we have four Ultra Ball, four Mysterious Treasure, and three Nest Ball to find the Pokemon, the right Pokemon for the right situations. We have double skateboard and triple switch to help us with the switching around and switch ends up being a little bit more important because we have so many bad starters for the deck, name it, uh, namely Onyx, Evian Snorlax, uh, Giratina and Necrozma. Thank you so much for the follow, JM Carlson. And we have double rescue stretcher to recover um, any of our attackers that we might need, four DCs to power up our attacks, seven basic uh, psychic energies to recover with Malamar. And so let's jump into ladder and see what we can do with this um, EV Lax Malamar deck and if we need to do any adjustments. TRV, I have all the cards already because this is a special demo account that Pokemon the company gave me, so which includes four of all of the cards available on PTCGO. But they are trade locked, so of course I cannot trade them away. And I'm sure someone will ask. Uh, no, you like unless you have a big YouTube or social media presence, <coughs> no one can get these. And last I heard, they are not giving them away anymore, so um, they are impossible to get from this point or from a long time. It's been a very long time since the last person got one. Okay, so we're up against a spread deck, which um, probably gonna be a difficult matchup. Right? Probably gonna be a difficult matchup to deal with. Uh, Malamar decks are usually not great against spread decks, but um, we have a decent ish hand, definitely. And we do have Giratina, which is a decent attacker against the spread decks. Not the best though. Onyx might actually be a better attacker, in fact. Onyx is probably a better attacker, actually. So, what I'm thinking right now is. Should I nest ball for another Inke or should I nest ball for Jirachi? And the reason I say Onyx is going to be a better attacker because Giratina places damage, right? So it's going to continually place damage and unless you place it on yourself, something is going to get knocked out eventually. You'll be giving prizes to your opponents, <coughs> which could be a good thing in order to counteract counter energy, but it's probably not ideal. And then... Um, if you're putting them on the Giratina, then it will eventually go down and you will need another one. So Onyx is just more reliable, 120, 120 continuously with no drawbacks whatsoever. Um, is it, isn't it better to run the second Snorlax so you can already charge a second one up when the active gets KO'd? Snorlax is not the main focus. We're trying to have variety, so the answer would be no. Okay, so... So I focus on Jirachi. Jirachi can help me get another ink gate, but it can also help me in getting other useful stuff. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab Jirachi. It also helps me, like I'll attach energy to ink gate, that means I will be able to retreat it. And then none of these Pokemon are good to bench. So I'm gonna go ahead and Lily. I do find another ink gate, which is very nice. And I will go ahead and retreat. I don't have a way to attack next turn, but I will use Stellar Wish. Um, I will definitely grab the Mysterious Treasure, I think. Uh, am I definitely going to grab that? Yeah, I will. Because then I can get the Psychic in the discard pile and I can get a Malamar for next turn. Um, I don't expect my opponent to KO anything or to do anything to my hand, really. Evian Snorlax could be good as well because it has so much HP that it's going to be really difficult for my opponent to take down. Um, I'll decide on that afterwards. Yeah, I'm just gonna pass for now. I do wake up, which is great because then I can use the ability and maybe hopefully find a skateboard for myself or a switch. I do have a lot of options in that regard because I do run a total of five of each of those. I do run a total of five of each of those. Um, three switch and two skateboards to make sure that the Jirachi is not up there. If I can get a, a turn to knockout, then that's gonna be pretty solid. And the way I do that is by finding a DC and a switch. I need, well, a DC, a switch, and a second Malamar. That's what I need in order to guarantee a knockout sometime soon. So we're gonna see a smooth over, and we're gonna see an instruct. Um, my opponent has a DC in hand, he might smooth over for a Guzma. Oh, he already has the Guzma, never mind. 
So yeah, he's gonna take down an NK. Oh, perfect hands for my opponents every time. Perfect, perfect hands. Yeah, we're gonna lose the Latios. Damage to the NK as expected. That means we can't get an attack off next turn, which means we're gonna be one turn behind my opponent. Uh, the switch is nice. Okay, so now I definitely want the Psychic. And I think now I'm definitely gonna use Eevee and Snorlax here. So I'm gonna grab the Malamar. Because my opponent, if I bench under Inke, I mean, he could target down the Malamar as well. So I will do this. I will attach energy. I'm not attacking this turn, so I might as well. And then I'll go ahead and Cynthia. And then after I Cynthia, I will use Jirachi's ability, depending on what I get. The DC is very nice. Um, the DZ could make me change my mind. No, definitely not. I'm gonna use Eevee Snorlax. If Eevee Snorlax gets reprises, then it pays itself off, which is great. It could potentially get all six prizes, depending on what I get. Um, I don't even mind. If he pursues the Malamar. Oh, darn. Okay, well, I have the Kuzma, so it's fine. I think I'm gonna keep this Cynthia for next turn. Uh, you do have to show the card to your opponent. I Okay, so I don't want to establish more Inkes because his strategy relies on, um, on spreading damage, of course, but 20, 20 every other turn, or um, he's getting ahead, so he's not going to be able to use Electric Ball or Lagoon Flight for a while. So Evian Snorlax might be able to just outright win the game here. We'll see. We shall see. We shall see. Oh my, we see another Guzma, just the raw Guzma. Wow. Okay, but no, he's not gonna choose to spread here, I don't think. Really broken that my opponent had the two raw, like he guzma and then he put a DC at the top, and then he, the other, one of the other two cards was a Guzma, or his prizes, but oh well. We are still going to Try our best. Oh, we don't have any shrine counters. That's important. <coughs> that is important to note for sure. We do not have any shrine counters. <clears throat> so I do want to eliminate the Latios right here. And then the question is do I want to set up two in case? Because the Avian Snorlax, is it going to go down though? Or should I just be patient here? I think I'm just gonna be patient. Yeah, I'm gonna be patient here. I'm gonna dump truck press. Get a KO and then, I mean, 30 da 40 damage per turn is not a lot when you have 270 HP. Sure, he gets another knockout on the Jirachi after four turns. That's not that big a deal, like I said. He's down two DCEs, as in there's two in play and then two counter energy as well. We'll see. We'll see what happens here. Um, if he has Mimikyu though, he's gonna end up hitting for 120 out of the blue. So my next, <clears throat> ah, the Kugu is annoying. My next turn, I might want to Guzma KO the Macargo. <clears throat> I think that's all it, honestly. Um, I can't stop him from spreading. So I might as well stop him from choosing his top decks every time right i might as well oh uh, no i shouldn't still her wish because then i would fall asleep <clears throat> awesome yeah my opponent realizes that i'm not gonna bench stuff i mean i think he still had a good chance to win that game because at some point i will overturn the price trade off therefore his counter energy activates and he can hit me for 100 with tapu koko um, perhaps my opponent wasn't seeing that play um, clearly but I will take this win. <laughs> I will definitely, definitely take this win. Yeah, I will very, very happily take this win. Okay, so let's search for yet another match. Ooh, we're up against Ultra Necrozma. We're up against Ultra Necrozma. Um, not the best matchup. Definitely, because 
Malamar is the only way we can deal damage. Or we could be up against Latios Latios, but that's not very likely. Okay, definitely gonna start with a non GX here, the kind of wall. Um, it's gonna be a race to see who gets the first two prizes, pretty much. Um, I, I will need to use my GX attack to KO an Ultra and Krozma with Eevee's Norlax. So that's gonna be rough. That's definitely gonna be rough because our main attacker that can take down this guy is weak to this other guy. <laughs> So that's a big issue. That is a very, very big issue. And he already has a Dawn Wings. And he's gonna get the turn one Lily versus our Necrozma attach and Cynthia. So not the best. Not the best start for us. Very decent start for my opponent. Your Inferno with tool drop, really fun. Real games that's yay, that's cool. That's cool. It's um, not Age Slash, the one in the middle, I forgot the name, Honich? No, Honich is the basic. I forgot the name of the middle, of the middle sword Pokemon. And then, and then with the Genesect to attach extra tools, I'd imagine. Okay, so <clears throat> this is a pretty nice top deck, two blade, yeah, or dot blade, I don't know. Okay. Um, what's the best deck from Team Up Tapu Lele? <laughs> the deck, the set literally came out today, so it's impossible for me to have an answer to that question. <clears throat> Nobody has an answer to that question as of today. And okay, so what we're missing is a. Hmm. I think I have to march out of here, right? Yeah, I have to Marshadow. And do I get rid of the Eevee Snorlax or the Ultra Ball? Or the Switch? I, I don't want to get rid of the Ultra Ball because it's a way to get Psychics in the discard pile, which is what I'm going to need in order to um, <clears throat> counteract uh, the fact that I don't have any yet in the discard pile. Oh my gosh, what is this? <laughs> okay, I mean, I get Lele, I guess, and the escape board is kind of nice. It's kind of useful, but oh, this is gonna be tough. This is not gonna be great, because with a Psychic, he gets a knockout, right? 20, 50, yeah, 130, could buy Onyx, and then I need an immediate response, and then I'm still gonna be in a lot of trouble if he GXs. I can't even do anything to him. Not looking great. Not looking great. Unless he whiffs the Psychic that gives me another turn to stabilize, which would be nice. But he does not. <clears throat> uh, no Psychics in the discard, so maybe he, if I get the knockout, he couldn't end up whiffing the return KO with a Dark Flash, which would be awesome. <laughs> Which would be awesome. And there's a Lily, which I actually really like. Ah, getting rid of the Guzma though. <clears throat> I'm not a fan of getting rid of the Guzma, but I think I have to. Because the Guzma allows me to bypass the GX. Ah, but I have to. And then I'll get a Malamar, right? Because now that I have the Lily. And so I need to draw one of my four Ultra Wolves and two Psychic Energies. That is not going to happen. I have two Mysterious um, Treasures prized. That is awful. And yeah, I need three very specific cards, the chance of me drawing them. Ooh, I almost did. <laughs> I actually almost did. So is my best play to put the Ultra Grosma to sleep? I think so. I mean, I could use Eevee and Snorlax, but nah. I think I need to put the thing to sleep. It's a better play than just not doing anything. If he wakes up and knocks me out, then I have the Psychic. If he stays asleep, then that would have been quite nice, but he wakes up. Oh well. And then he's gonna be able... Well, he won't be able to GX knock me out. So that's good, right? Does he have a Stadium? Does he have a Switch? 
Or does he have a Guzma? Guzma gets him a knock-on on Malamar, which wouldn't be great, of course, but wouldn't be terrible. You can't sleep with Charizard going... <laughs> oh, wow, he just passes. Okay, so the Psychic Recharge was actually a terrible play. Okay, so my opponent is not drawing really well. I actually was one card away from the Ultra Ball, which is insane to think about. Onyx is not going to be useful here. I do want another Malamar because I might need to use a GX attack next turn. <laughs> and I need to evolve this friend. I have the attack though, which is awesome. And I can Erika's Hospitality for four, which is nice. Right? Not the best, not the worst. And I have Knockout here, which is great. Maybe I should have just discarded both Psychics. Because if I draw another Psychic, then I could have an energy already on the EV and Snorlax. This is fine though, I'm I am very happy. Oh, and I can't get the energy, never mind. <coughs> I am very happy with this current situation. Very, very happy. The only thing I'm missing is a uh, switch. That's literally the only thing I'm missing. But I am drawing two prizes and I'm getting a top deck, so hopefully off of that I will get something useful. The Guzma is very useful. The Guzma is incredibly useful. The Guzma plus the energy means I get two more prizes next turn. If he uses Dawn Wings, I can return KO. If he doesn't use Dawn Wings, then I'm still in a good spot. And Huh. Okay, so he's gonna get a knockout here, right? He goes down to three prizes. And then I'm gonna take a knockout with Eevee and Snorlax, right? Because I can't get Giratina. Ah, I was gonna say. Well, if he only has one Malamar, I'm good. He's gonna Lele for Judge? Please don't. Lele for Ericas would be insane here. Because he gets to keep the four cards and then he draws six. Oh my gosh, he has Judge. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> the one card. The one card I need them. Like, what Malamar decks play Judge? Okay, the DC means I can still pull it off. I'm good. I'm good. If he doesn't establish an Inke, I think we pretty much win the game. I'll eventually find a stretcher, right? I'll eventually find a stretcher. There's no way he can knock this guy out next turn, which is awesome. He's not playing any evolution, so I won't be able to get another prize card here. Um, definitely attaching. I mean, I can't play Erika's right now, so I don't have to commit anything. Okay, cool. So definitely doing this. Definitely, I think Ultra Ball. These two away for the Malamar, right? And so I need that stretcher. Am I playing two stretchers or one? I think just one stretcher. I can't play one stretcher only, yeah. Okay, so I think we're in a pretty good spot. I actually think we are in a pretty, pretty good spot. Okay, so one energy on Eevee and Snorlax. I'm gonna use Megaton Friends. I'm gonna draw, end up drawing 10 cards. So now there's, I guess there's merit to using the Mysterious Treasure. There's definitely merit to using the Mysterious Treasure. Um, I do have Psychics in the discard pile, so I could power up a Giratina, but I don't want to. I think I want to keep that bench space open. So I'm gonna go ahead and Mysterious Treasure the Psychic. And I will set up an Inke? Nah, I want to keep the bench space open. Remember, Pablo. And so I'm gonna retreat. I will Megaton Friends GX Plus. The first one ever on Twitch, I think. We get 10 cards, we get the Stretcher, we get a Kuzma. Unless we get Judged or Marshadowed, which could definitely happen, we immediately win the game. We even turn off B-String. We even turn off B-String, which is insanely good. Broken GX attack indeed, Peter. Broken GX attack. There's the Inkay that my opponent desperately needed the previous turn. There's a Mysterious Treasure. Might be for the Marshadow. Yep. Okay, so <laughs> back to square one. Back to square one. But he can't even attack with Dawn Wings. So my opponent's best bet is going to be to use Hypnosis. And we still have our two switches and two Guzmas and access to Lele. So we just need a decent handoff of this uh, Marshadow. 
which might be a lot to ask for, but... Or to flip heads, right? So we have at least a 50-50 chance to just flip heads and win. Well, no, we won't win, but get close to winning. Um, it might come to a point where, since we... If, if we don't win next turn, which we probably won't because of the Marshadow, if we don't win next turn, my opponent will have a possibility to go Guzma, KO, etc. Um, we do find a Guzma, we do find a, a switch to prevent the sleeping from affecting us. <coughs> however, however, Hmm. However, there's no way for us to get two prizes next turn. There's no way for us to get two prizes next turn. Because my opponent retreats here to the Marshadow, right? Unless I top deck um, the Stretcher, which is very unlikely. It's a 1 in 20 chance, so we're not counting on it. We are definitely not counting on it. So, okay, energy on the... Dawn wings, that's fine. I mean, okay, so this should be close to game, pretty much. I'm gonna go ahead and Lily for two. No stretcher as expected, that's fine. Now I'm gonna bench the Jirachi. It's another out to Guzma and things like that when, if something happens to my hand. And I'm just gonna dump truck press for the knockout. And then my opponent's plan is to use Moons Eclipse, get, a no get an attack off, um, doesn't get a knockout for sure. There's the other stretcher, so I do play two. I'm not bad. <laughs> I do play two. Um, and then hope I don't have Guzma, but I do have two Guzmas. In fact. Okay. And then in case he uses another Marshadow, takes away our hand. We still have... So I should not have benched the Jirachi, I guess. Actually, I should not have benched the Jirachi. There's a Guzma gone for my opponent. There's a Guzma gone for my opponent for another Malamar, that makes sense. But yeah, the Beast Energy is gone. So the only way, no, not even like Beast Energy plus Choice Band. 140 to 60. Choice, choice Band plus Beast Energy plus Double Psychic Recharge into Ultra and Cross Mal was 260 damage. So there was no way for my opponent to one and KO. Um, I beat Norlax with just one guy. He already played the Lily. He could stretch her for the Marshadow. That's his last, uh, his last resource. He yeah, and there's the victory. Perfect. Okay, so pretty nice. Pretty pretty nice. I thought after he judged us on turn one, it was gonna be great. But my opponent also whiffed um, quite badly at some points, so. It ends up working out pretty nicely. It ends up working out pretty, pretty nicely. So one more game with Eevee Snorlax. <coughs> and then we will move on to the Latios, Latias Malamar, which should play similar-ish. Um, we'll see. We shall see how it ends up working out. We are looking for an opponent here. If he plays Gengar Mimikyu, he would have killed the Eevee Snorlax. Uh, with the hand I had, yes. And there was nothing for me to stop that. So yeah, Gengar Mimikyu actually would have been a good option for my opponent to to have at that point. Um, because he would have been able to KO me. So yeah, that's true. That is very, very true. That is very, very true. Okay, so Jirachi start, very rare, but very awesome when it does happen. And a pretty decent hand to go with it as well. So do you guys like the new layout? Does it look much cleaner than before? What about the chat up here? I mean, the, literally nothing happens up here, so I don't see any reason not to have the chat up there. Okay, so we're up against Snor I mean, not Snorlax, uh, Zora Guival with a very underwhelming start due to that Kukui. So the Nest Ball is a very nice card to get. I think I'm gonna go ahead and search for the Onyx since I already have the DCE. I have no Malamar pieces prized. The Marshadow is prized. And then an Ultra Ball is prized. A Switch is prized. A Cynthia is prized. 
a psychic is prized and something else that I don't know what it is is prized. <laughs> Uh, definitely attaching this and then <coughs> uh, Yeah, I don't mind getting rid of the old troll I think the other two cards are potentially very useful So I'll get the ink eh? What deck is this broken pack? This is Malamar with DCE and Mimikyu Snorlax And then I'll Cynthia, I'll get six cards, then I will use um, Stellar Wish And I will definitely grab the Erika Right, definitely grabbing the Erika here. Zorak, we will maybe like and rock, yeah. And then I think benching the Onyx already is a pretty good deal. Um, it's a threat for my opponent. I have the Escaper to retreat. I have a Kuzma to chase on the Weavile. So things are looking pretty nicely. Things are looking pretty nicely. And then if I can power up the Onyx off of a Malamar rather than Using the other TC, that would be nice. Although, now that the Zorak has evolved, it's a much nicer target for me to go after. And my opponent's not gonna have Guzma plus a full bench to KO the Onyx here, so we are good. Hello, Supreme X Lol. Thank you so much for being here. We see a Zorwa, we see a Rock Rock, there's the Zora Rock Weavile. Ah, why does this keep happening? Why is everyone playing Judge all of a sudden? Why does this keep happening? Ugh. Okay. So that was not very nice. So do I, ask, do I risk getting a DCE? I mean, what's more likely? Ugh. Wow, the judge. I can't believe it. He cuckooed on turn one. Ugh. This is rough. I think I'm gonna go in case because I have two more in case in this. In this hand. Definitely grabbing Inke. Definitely grabbing Inke. And then I want the switch as a switch in case I end up getting DC plus switch, DC plus the skateboard. Nope. Not gonna happen. Okay. So I will skateboard, however, into Jirachi. There's no card that Jirachi could get me here that um, helps me. Oh wow, I actually want to not choose anything. <laughs> there was a DC. Yeah, I'm choosing not to grab anything because of what my hand currently looks like. And then I can only evolve this guy, but I need this guy actually with the escape board potentially. And then if I evolve without using it, it becomes an even better target for him. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pass. Did I win the last game? Yes, I won the last game, Tuskyo. You won 7 straight with Zapdos, Jirachi, and Berserk. Yeah, Zapdos, Jirachi, we'll be exploring that probably tomorrow. It's gonna be pretty good. And Rival Me Jr., is there a way to block recommendations on here? I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. But now we've just fallen behind. Our hand was so good before the judge, and then it was terrible. Our hand was so good. I mean, we trade very cost-effectively against Zorg, if it comes to that, right? But... Um, is he going to Guzma KO the Onyx? No, he's just gonna Cynthia and be happy taking down the Jirachi, which does eliminate draw, which is good for him. So now we need another DCE or two Psychics and a way to discard a Psychic. There's another Zorg. Now he gets the old trade. Falling a bit behind, not too much, but we are falling a bit behind. That is correct, Tuskyo. That is correct. That is exactly what it means. Okay, so I feel like I should stretch her back. A Jirachi here and attach an escape board to it. Because it's much better having the escape board on the Jirachi than it is on an Inke. Um, 
We're gonna have a lot of abilities anyway, so it's not a big deal. And then I already have the thing to discard the Psychic. So here we go. We need a really good Lily here. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is this world? Wow. What on earth is happening right now? <sighs> yikes. Big yikes. I haven't seen a single energy after turn one. Do I play the card game in real life as well? I do, Tuskyo. I do. If you Google Pablo Mesa Pokemon, you can find out more about me. <laughs> How come I didn't use the full art Pika? Um, because these guys actually look pretty cool with uh, like the moving background and stuff. And it's like when I upload to YouTube, it's much easier for people to recognize these cards than the, um, <coughs> than the other ones. Uh, that's not a KO, my friend. That was not a KO. Okay, finally a Psychic. Which is not very useful anymore. I am going to end up failing this Mysterious Treasure, right? Well, no, I can evolve, so I can grab something, actually. I'll grab the Kiratina. No, I'll grab the... This friend. Okay, so we're still in this. We are definitely, definitely still in this. Um... We need a really good Ericas, but we're gonna Ericas for six. There's a DCE finally. Not much else though. <laughs> still lacking, still very sorely lacking in psychic energies. Ugh. Okay, definitely gonna discard the two Giratinas. And I'll grab the Inke. I am indeed a professional player. I will definitely Psychic Recharge onto this friend. And I mean, I could switch, but I don't think it's necessary. I'm just, I'm really... Yeah, I, I try to stream. Like, I, I'm very regular with streams, but usually I do stream. Um, at least once, hope, a lot of times more than once a week. But I do stream quite a bit. And I have a YouTube channel in case you want to check it out where I upload everything that I stream to. Okay. I mean, I have to, right? I have to attach the DZ. Thing is, my next turn sucks big time. At least I get a price card here. My next turn really sucks, though. Uh, Guzma, potentially useful if I had a DZ, but the fact that my opponent whiffed there was a pretty big deal. Que deck más horrible. El juego anterior funcionó bastante bien. El tema es que no me están saliendo las energías. Yeah, so the deck, the deck flowed pretty well last time around. It just, we weren't getting the energies. Um, the rock roof is obviously a very big deal for <laughs> the Avian Snorlax. Um, I assume my opponent, I mean, my opponent has to deal with the Onyx, right? He's gonna have to commit a DC to a Lele to deal with the Onyx. There's no way around that. Do you think Snorlax is good or just straight is better? I think just straight is probably better. I mean, having the option of Snorlax is nice, um, but this is feeling definitely a lot more gimmicky. <laughs> Why is everyone playing so many, like, annoying cards? Field lower and two devoured fields. That my opponent has already gotten rid of. Oh gosh, and he's going to judge me. Yep. <laughs> Incredible. Okay. Okay. So there's the judge. I mean, nothing I can do to prevent that. I'm gonna have to run with Jirachi, but now with the escape board, I have no way to retreat it, guaranteed. There's the psychic energies. Okay, so off of. No, not even. Ah, oh, this sucks. I'm falling way too far behind here. The Guzma's not useful. Stellar Wish. And to Erika's. Okay, the Erika's is actually pretty nice. The Erika's is actually pretty nice. 
I do have to play another card. Okay, so I need an Ultra Ball and another Psychic. Or DC plus... Ugh, I mean, this means I attack with Onyx. That doesn't mean I get a knockout. Ugh. This is so bad. Or I could just wait, right? I mean, I definitely need to get rid of the Psychic, though. That's something I definitely need to do. I'll grab the Lele and then... There's no way my opponent doesn't get a knockout next turn. And that's the key threshold. That's the key threshold. But there's nothing I can do about it. Ugh. I mean, I could have tried to put him to sleep. Yeah, Lycanroc, he's gonna bring up the Onyx. He's not gonna bring up a Malamar, right? And then I'm still one energy short of getting a knockout with this guy. <laughs> so I would need Eevee and Snorlax to KO the Rockruff with energy, but now I don't have Eevee and Snorlax in my hand, so... Yeah... We are done here. Do you think Snor Yeah, we are done here. We are absolutely done here. The Onyxes were pretty good, we just... we never... My out is a misplay, yep. <laughs> My out is a misplay. Because <clears throat> I need four energy. That Inke that I had to bench, that was the biggest issue. That Inke that I had to bench, that was the biggest issue. Oh wow, he chooses to Claw Slash. Huh. I disagree with this big time. I mean, I understand he's trying not to risk the Zorks, but now you've taken down two of the Onyxes. And I can't get a knockout. I have four Malamars, but I have two energy in the discard pile. Oh my gosh. I mean, I bench. I attach, and then I play one switch, that's one, two, three, and then I Lily. Because you're getting rid of two, two Onyxes, and you're just, like, you're just risking the Lycanroc. If I knock out the Lycanroc this turn, then maybe you don't have a way to, um, to get two prizes with Zorak next turn. So that's why I don't like the Claw Slash. I don't think I can KO here. Uh, okay, I guess I can use Jirachi, never mind. Oh, there we go. So I can KO. Awesome. Never mind. Good thing I remember. Oh no, I can't. No, I can't. I still can't KO. No, I can, I can, I can. Uh, the thing is... I mean, I'm never gonna win this. If I was at four prizes, then maybe I would win. But I'm not gonna win this. And I still need a DC. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I still need a Psychic. Yeah, there's, there's no way, there's no way. There is no way. There is no way, my friends. If, if he was at three prizes, then maybe. I can't grab Snorlax with Mysterious Treasure. Hello, Leonardo. I am doing well, thank you. How about you? Okay, so I still haven't attached energy for turn. I'm gonna switch and I'm gonna Lily and I need a Psychic and then I get a KO and then I still lose the game. But I tried. <laughs> but I tried and I do get it. Awesome. But see, it's like he lost it like an rock. Now he definitely doesn't win here. Now he definitely does not win this upcoming turn. He's still going to win, okay? It doesn't matter. He's still going to win. He's going to attack me, and then I switch, get another KO, and then he attacks me again, and he wins. 
Yeah, because they don't like. Now that he's out of Lycan Rock, for example, imagine if this is regional and you, this is your turn three. Now you definitely don't win. It becomes a tie rather than a win. There's no reason to use the Lycan Rock in that spot. Absolutely no reason. <clears throat> Absolutely no reason to use Lycan Rock there. They GX attack. Like, my opponent's best play was to attach another energy to the Rock Ruff. And leave two rock roughs with each with, with one energy each. That way, no matter which one goes down, or two lichen rocks. That way, no matter which one goes down, you just knock out both. Okay, please. Oh my gosh, what is my opponent doing? My opponent is lit. I'm I'm finding my out here. I am in fact finding my out. My opponent is doing everything that he can to lose this game. My opponent is doing everything he can to lose this game. Wow. Because now he's going to attach energy to a Lycan Rock to get it ready for Dangerous Rogue. Does he have energy? I mean, it's going to come down. If he doesn't... If he doesn't attach, then I'm going to knock out this guy and I'm going to Marshadow him. And he's gonna need to draw his last TC and a Kuzma to win the game. He doesn't attach. Why did he not take Necrozma? He can't. He only deals 120 damage. He can't KO Necrozma. Wow, my opponent doing all the wrong moves. Like worst case scenario, you just attack into the Necrozma. And then chase it down wherever it is. Because now he can wave knockout next turn. Okay, so... We're gonna take full advantage of this. I don't have to worry about that guy, which is great. I just need to reload the Necrozma. Oh. No, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. I could, I mean, I could style with Eevee and Snorlax here, but it literally, well, it could matter. I guess it could matter. It actually could matter. I should have used Eevee and Snorlax. Yep, I should have used Deviant Sorlex. I 100% should have used Eevee and Sorlex here. 100% I should have used Eevee and Snorlax. So I'm gonna attach a DC so I have a retreat option because I'm gonna need Kuzma to win next turn. I could ultra all away these two, but I think, uh, yeah, because I'm not gonna have space for the Lele because I'm gonna bench the Marshadow. So that doesn't make much sense. I should have used Deviant Sorlex. Because that doesn't force me to discard cards. So I should have used Deviant Snorlax. Oh no, I shouldn't have. No, never mind. You'd KO both? What? No. I sh okay, so I shouldn't use Deviant Snorlax. And the reason is I need that bench space to use Marshadow to eliminate my opponent's hand. And reduce his chances of winning the game as much as possible. That's why you don't play the Snorlax. That's why I have to attack with Prismatic Burst. I'm going to take a knockout and then I might just win. I might just win here. Terrible moves by my opponent. Absolutely terrible moves by my opponent. Namely, attacking with Lycanroc. 100% attacking with Lycanroc was the worst possible scenario. <sighs> he promotes the Lele. Does he already have the Kuzma? He's down to one DC. He has one trade, so odds are not in my opponent's favor. He put back the Guzma. He has the Guzma. <sighs> Come on! Because I wanted Luis, because I needed to bench Marshadow to try to avoid what just happened. My opponent found his last DC, that was super lucky. But otherwise he had 20 cards in his hand. Ah, that's so frustrating. That is so frustrating. How does he get his DC? Come on. The Guzma was likely, not the DC, not both. Wow, that was ridiculous. It's okay, because we made the right place, and my opponent made the mistakes. So, this time he got the DC, he had, what, 16 cards left after I used Marshadow? 
So he definitely had a less than 50% chance. So if this happens, like this happens and you lose, right? But if you like 10 times out of 10, I would do the same move. And maybe six times he wouldn't get it, four times he would. It just so happens he did get it, but um, but yeah, this was definitely the right way to go about it. Um, my opponent made a huge, huge mistake in attacking with a Lycanroc that cost that almost cost him the game, but in the end, he got compensated by drawing that DC. And so, that will be all for Malamar Eevee Lax. Um, the lack of the energies, the energy flow, and the energy spread of the deck is definitely very awkward. <coughs> it didn't help that we didn't see a single energy for like after the first turn for like the next four turns or so. Um, that set us too far, way too far behind. It put us in this spot. We almost won the game, but we were still coming up short. And it comes down to the decks on reliability in getting energy into a discard pile quickly enough when you're only running seven. And that's why I do like running uh, the pure psychic versions because you struggle a lot less with that. And so now we're gonna moving, be moving on to Latios and Latias. So don't go anywhere, guys. I will be right back in just a second with the next 